In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Apple Watch SE 2. So the first thing you wanna do is turn it on. So you'll find this little side button on the side and you'll want to press and hold it. So I'm holding. And there we have the Apple logo showing up on the screen. And momentarily, some text will show up on the screen giving us some further instruction. And there we go. So it says, bring iPhone near Apple Watch. Now a quick tip here is if you touch this eye icon, you can change your language if needed. And so I will try to bring my iPhone even closer to my Apple Watch. And there we go. So it says, use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch. I'll hit continue. And it says, set up Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch, you can set it up here. So you can either set this up for yourself or for a family member. So the steps will be a little different if you're setting this up for a family member, but I'll go ahead and set this up for myself. So it says to hold the camera, hold the Apple Watch up to the camera. So I'll just put this over like so. Maybe it needs to be a little closer. There we go. So now it says my Apple Watch is paired and it says make this your new Apple Watch. So if you already have Apple Watches paired to your account or another Apple Watch paired to your account, you can use the same uh, settings as you did previously. You can just tap continue here. If you'd like to set this up as a brand new watch, however, you can tap customize settings and you can tap set up as new Apple Watch. That's what I'm going to do. So here it says wrist preference. On which wrist do you wear Apple Watch? So you can either select left or right here. I'll go ahead and select left and hit continue. And there is this little progress bar here in the upper right hand corner. And it's going through some terms and conditions. So you can tap here to read the full terms and conditions if you would like. And if you agree to these, if you agree, you can tap agree. And now it says watch analytics, help Apple improve its products and services by allowing analytics of usage data from your watch. You can either tap here to learn more about what data they collect, or you can tap here to go ahead and share or tap here not to share. So I'm gonna go ahead and say don't share for the moment. Here you can create an Apple Watch passcode. When you set a passcode, Apple Watch locks when you take it off and requires the passcode to unlock. This helps protect your data. So in the five years or so that I've worn Apple Watches, I have never had a problem with this passcode. It has worked perfectly accurately when I take it off and put it back on and such. So I have every faith in this passcode. So I would recommend you also create a passcode if you don't mind. If you don't want to add one though, you can tap don't add passcode. You can also add a longer passcode. The default is only four digits. I'm not sure what the longer passcode is. Let's just see. The long passcode must be more than four digits. So if you want more than four, you can create a long passcode. If you're okay with just four, then you can just tap create a passcode. So I heard a little chime here on the watch and it is prompting me on both the phone and the watch to enter a new passcode. So I'll go ahead and enter some number. And this is not a passcode I would actually use, but it's kind of nice that they do tell you this code can be easily guessed. Do you still want to be used? So you can either change, which if it does tell you this, I would change if I were you. But since I'm just setting this up for demonstration purposes, I'm going to continue to use this code because you can change it later. So now it's re asking me to re-enter the passcode, which I will do. All right, and now it says bold text and size. Select your preferred reading experience. So here you can toggle on or off the bold text and Apple's really nice here. It does show on the screen what that would look like. So you can preview your preference. So I'm gonna use the non-bold text 
And here we also have text size. So if I slide this by pressing and holding and dragging, you can see the size on the text size on the Apple Watch gets smaller. And then I can drag and hold to the right and you'll see the size, text size here is larger. You can also wait until that little default comes back up if you want to continue using the default, although it didn't change it, so that's a little uh, interesting. So I wonder if it lost connection somehow. So I'm gonna put it back to default. We'll see if it remembers that. You can also change this later in the Apple Watch app. So I'll go ahead and hit, maybe I'll go back. Nope, don't wanna do that. <laughs> So cancel, so I'll just continue. All right, shared settings. It's just telling you that some watch faces and apps may use your location when location services is on and the fitness and health apps will be downloaded to your iPhone. So you just have to basically tap okay here. So here it says personalized fitness and health. This information ensures fitness and health data are as accurate as possible. These details are not shared with Apple. So they have provided you with whatever you've said is your date of birth, sex, height, and weight. You can also toggle on or off whether you use a wheelchair. And if you do, it says that turning on wheelchair will use pushes instead of steps for activity tracking. So once you've, if you need to change any of these, you just tap on the respective um, rows here and then change as needed, and then you tap done when you're done. So once you have all of your data here as you would like it, go ahead and tap continue. And here it says get notifications about your health. Receive a notification when there's something you need to know. So noise, your Apple Watch microphone can measure sound levels without recording audio and notify you if they might affect your hearing. So it looks like that's the only one here. You, if you don't want the uh, notification there, you can toggle that off. I am going to keep it on, so I'll tap continue. And here we have safety. Apple Watch can help in an emergency. So we have emergency SOS. Hold the side button to call emergency services and notify emergency contacts. We have fall detection during workouts. Apple Watch can call emergency services if it detects a hard fall and if you need help. There's also new this year, there's crash detection. If Apple Watch detects a car crash, it can call emergency services for you. And there's also backtrack. In a remote setting, Apple Watch can record your route in case you get lost. So I'll go ahead and tap continue. And we have that little progress circle going here. So it's doing something in the background. All right, and here we have Apple Pay. So it says you can add cards to Apple Pay to send money to friends and make secure payments in apps on the web and in stores using NFC. So you can either set this up later or you can tap continue. If you tap continue, you'll see if you have any previous cards that are connected to your iPhone or previous Apple Watches and you can select or deselect these and you can tap continue. You might have to re-enter some of your information and recontact the carriers. That is one thing I'm not super a fan of, I guess, of this uh, setup process. I wish it could just, if I already have the cards accepted on my iPhone, why is it so hard to put it on the Apple Watch? So I don't know. But anyway, I'll do that at, an, at another time because this does take up time. So for now, I'm going to hit the back button and I'll say set up later in the Apple Watch app. And I probably will do a video on how to set up Apple Pay if you do need help with that. So uh, you can search for that on my channel if you are interested in that kind of a video. So here it says App View. Access your apps by pressing the digital crown. You can change the App View at any time in Settings. So this is just another... Oh, okay. So if you're on a smaller screen like me, here I have the iPhone SE second gen. Uh, you can scroll up here. And if you would prefer, which I do, you can actually select the list view here. So I'll go ahead and select that and tap continue. 
And here we have a little chime on the Apple Watch SC2. And here on the phone it says, welcome to Apple Watch. And basically just says, these are some things that you can do later in the app. So I'll tap OK. So here it is in the app. So you have one face here by default if you're setting it up as new. And that screen does look pretty nice. Now, if you want to change your watch faces, you can either tap here to edit, and then you'd, uh, I guess you just rearrange the order here. You can tap here on face gallery, and you can see these are the new watch faces. We have metropolitan, lunar, playtime, astronomy, portraits, and the new modular. So I'm actually a huge fan of this modular. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on, whoa, go ahead and tap on that one. And maybe I'll say add. So if I go to my watch, now I can go edit, and I could delete this one if I wasn't a fan of it, or I can tap and drag to hold up, and I'll say done here. And now when I tap on my watch, I should see this new modular face. So that is new for this uh, watch OS 9, is the modular face can now have a color background. And in this case, it was pre-selected to be starlight to match my starlight aluminum case and band. And that looks pretty nice, so I'll have to see if I like that. Here on the phone, it says device added to your account, and Apple Watch now has access to iMessage and FaceTime. If you don't recognize this device, you can remove it in settings. So since I did just set this up, I'll go ahead and tap OK. So another way to add clock faces, since that might be the first thing that you want to do here, I'll go ahead and press and hold the screen. And so here you can actually swipe left or right depending on what page you're on. And if you swipe all the way to the end, you will find new. So here you can actually hit the plus button and add a new watch face. So you can tap here to access the new ones, or you can use the digital scroll or your finger to scroll and find whichever one you want. So let's say you want the uh, Mickey Mouse. So you can tap add here. And then the character, you can change Mickey or Minnie. You can swipe left or right for the color. If you want classic or red, and you can change the complications and things like that. So once you're done, you just have to press this digital crown button and then you can just tap. And then you have the little Mickey Mouse watch face. And if you wanna switch between watch faces, you can just swipe left and right. And let's say you wanted to delete a watch face, we'll just press and hold again and you just swipe up and then you can tap remove. And you can also edit watch faces. Let's go to this one and say I wanna edit. So I can change the background, it's on or off. Maybe I like it off actually. And then I can swipe over here, I could change the color if I want. Ooh, that yellow looks kind of nice. It's actually called sun glow. You can also have, ooh, that looks pretty nice too. So it looks like they have had some uh, new colors here in the newer Apple Watches, which I'm really liking. So I'll go ahead and put it back on the uh, Sun Glow. How about that one? And then here you can change your complications by tapping on any of them. So if I didn't want the UV index, but I wanted, um, let's say, chance of rain, then I can tap here and then I get the chance of rain. You can also turn off Let's say I'll hit this one. You can shortcut to get to the top. You can tap on the top of the screen here and tap off, and then there'll be no complication there. So you don't have to have everything filled, but all of these things that have a little circle or rectangular outline can be tapped on and changed to a different complication or turned off. And then once you're done, just press that digital crown again, and then there's your new watch face. So. That was just a very quick overview of customizing the watch face, which is maybe one thing you want to do right after you set this up. Otherwise, I will do a more in-depth how to use 
the Apple Watch Series 2 video. So if you want to watch that, we'll go through all the different things you can do with your Apple Watch. You can find that in the description below or at the end of this video. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel. And consider subscribing if you want to see more Apple Watch videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.